Don't take yeah, much. You know, I, I was thinking about that, and I didn't take a lot of pictures of my earlier stuff. I just didn't. And, I didn't either. You know, yeah, I, you know, and some of the stuff, like I, I know my mother has two Christmas ornaments, but I don't want to show anybody those at all. Well, <laughs> this was, <laughs> well, this hollow form was a piece that my wife kept. I didn't even know she still had it. So I'm sure you. I, I may, I may have, I may have some. Surely you've got something, you know. So once again, you know, um, you know, like, like I've been saying here recently, your, your ego is not your amigo. Um, you know, there's nothing wrong with being a little bit of self-deprivation, you know, going on, you know. So you know, you pick something and show it. You know, hell, it could be a piece you did last week and you didn't like, and 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 whatnot. So my earlier stuff was just nothing but ink pens. I think a lot of people's early stuff was nothing but ink pens. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I can show you. I do have some. You know, and they, they were all blonde, you know, because I was using the mandrel. You know, I, hell, I could, I could do, a, do, a, do a work up on that as well um, between then and, you know, turning them between centers. I'll go look and see what I got pictures of and what I got sitting around. I, I, I got rid of a lot of stuff years ago, too. So I, I sent a lot of stuff into the fire. So, <laughs> yep. You have done me in. I made the mistake of telling well, I know somebody. A lot of people's I, got, I know a lot of people got pictures because I've seen them on on the Facebook page. <laughs> <laughs> and I ain't lying. I mean, <clears throat> to go wander down memory lane. <laughs> yeah, I, I probably have told this told this story before, but I was I had a box of a fairly good sized box of old clunky stuff I was going to put in a fire, and I made a mistake of telling a friend of mine that I was going to do this, and yeah, she worked with, story. yeah, she worked with some elderly folks at an elderly home, and she said, "Well, send it to me. I'll hand it out to them. They won't know any difference." And so I did. And, and about a year or so later, I said, "You know, you never said anything about those pieces. Whatever happened to those?" She said, "Oh, I kept them." <laughs> I said, "What?" <laughs> yeah. yeah. She said, "Yeah, I take them out and look at them every now and then." I was like, "Oh man, <laughs> there's mm. old, clunky, heavy stuff, you know, thick walled stuff, you know." <laughs> I don't know, but yeah, I probably have told that story in here before. Oh well, no. You've told that to me personally talking. Okay. That's how I know it. Well, cool. Well, folks, thanks a lot for the for the great reception. I think I'm going to bail. I got some stuff to do here before I can start heading to bed. So I, I had a great night. I, I hope you guys got a lot out of the demo. And uh, I look forward to seeing what everybody does. Yeah, good good job, man. Man. Right on. Good night. Good night. Good night, Matt. Have a good night. Yep, yep. Have a good one. Thanks, I Matt. I got to go, too. My legs start. All right, Brenda. Up. You got a lot of Night. homework to do now. Night, Brenda. Yeah. I ain't gonna be doing home homework for a while because my brother's coming in for from Indianapolis tomorrow. Oh, and that's I think a long drive. His... Yeah. Well, it's only two hour. <laughs> I know, but, I uh, know. <laughs> he's uh bring his three year old granddaughter with him. Which I just love this kid. This kid is just hilarious. And um, we're going to go out to my daughters, my youngest daughters, and build a 16 by 30 deck. Ooh. Yeah. And my brother is started chemo again. So oh, no. and he's on a weight restriction. So he's not allowed to dig no holes. What well, hmm. I think we need uh, like sixteen holes. Yeah. Yeah. It's gonna be a busy weekend, I think. And hot, my God. Today was just unbelievably hot. It's terrible. Well, that's but strange. I did get in the pool. <laughs> that was a good relief. Yeah. Really humid here. Yeah. I thought it looked like you got some sun on your face. You looked a little pink. Oh, am I? I've been trying to get in the pool every day to at least clean it out. 
and oh, there you go. some laps. <laughs> so, all right, guys, I'm going to go. All right, Brenda. All right. Have a good. Thanks for the demos. You bet. Yeah, I'm scheduling for July demos. So end of July and August already, so I'd really <clears throat> like to get some new characters on. Parking about. Billy, your um, piece will be on the way tomorrow. Oh. Oh, yeah. That's right. You guys want to see the Man, that was quick. You want to see the stuff that I got in the middle today? Mail on Tuesday for Scott? Sure. <clears throat> you never let me know how, what I owe you or how to pay you. you oh, but pay you me haven't. I haven't shipped it yet, so I'll, ship it. I'll let you know it. tomorrow. Okay. Did you get that email right. off to uh, Len? I, I did. You, you, and you weren't in here when I was showing this off. Oh, yeah. So, good job, what do you think man. of that? Looks good. I, I didn't, that big, remember that big crack? I didn't like that big crack, so I put Mother of Pearl in it. Yeah, I've still got to put the butterflies across it, but it cleaned up nice. We have a, a rule that I just made up a minute ago. Yeah. <laughs> <That's> what? <laughs> no, you ain't getting it. <laughs> hey, Billy, look at that. Uh, <clears throat> can't see it, dude. Yeah, hold on a minute. Here, there you go. Oh, oh. That's sweet, man. How much yeah. is that, Scott? What's that? How much is that? Three hundred. Look at that. The bad boy spins. <laughs> Ain't that sweet? How much is it, Scott? Thirty dollars plus shipping and handling. All right, sign me up. Send send me a send me a message Facebook. on Facebook. Yeah, I'll send it on Facebook. It's going to be a couple of weeks because I'm going on vacation after this week. So. Yeah, me too. I'm going to John C. Campbell. What was that? What was then, that? I got, then I got some, uh, then he sent me some tool stock to work on. Nice. We got, oh, wow. we, got, we got a ring tool in process. Just needs to be uh, hardened and profiled on the outside. And hold on tight. Make? Hold on tight. <laughs> isn't that, isn't right. that a little big? Hold on tight. And then a couple uh, stock tools here to make a couple uh, hook tools. Hmm. You got you guys want to see uh, one of uh, Kirsten Dunst and Jesse Plemons' uh, new porch balusters? <laughs> we got that one. Well, if, if you got them, Telly. Yeah, Billy, that's a three-quarter inch ring tool. That's about as big as you want to go. Yeah, I was thinking that looked awfully big. Yeah, I've seen I'm, that. There, there's I, a guy I'm thinking three eighths might be about as big as you want to go. There's a, there's a guy in Sweden, Billy, that's building one that's going to be seven eighths. Oh my word! Let's see. This is and it cuts like a dream. Be right back. Probably grabs like one too. No, it doesn't. His does not. Yeah. The new profile he's making does not. Huh. That's 22 mil on the outside, so seven eighths. And the inside is 11 sixteenths. So by the time, once once the cutting bevels are profiled, it'll be, yeah, maybe just over three, three quarters of an inch. Yep. It'll be... 19, 19 mil. Puppy's sharp already, though. Yeah, I, I, I honed it a little already. I shaped it a little bit. Yeah. 
Yeah, yeah you got a good profile on the inside already. So, hell yeah. Just like move that the shot, so that. it looks like somebody's wedding band being repurposed. <laughs> <laughs> There's my ring. ring. <laughs> There's it's your ring. <laughs> it's actually, it's actually <laughs> the race off of ball bearing. Yeah. I guess they moved to Austin and apparently Spider-Man's girlfriend likes uh, vintage stuff, doesn't like uh, throwing stuff out, so uh, put me on uh, the screen, man. You're on right at the moment. Okay. Hold on, I got you. I got you. Hold on. This is the, uh, they, they had a, uh, you know, there's like about 80 of them or so, and they wanted to keep as many as they could. So I only had to make about 20 of them or so. The rest of them, I literally had to soak in some pentacryl, or however the fuck you pronounce that, and uh, and put them back. But there were a bunch that were like this that were just in real bad shape. So I got some mahogany and made them, re redid them. There you go. Uh, there yeah. uh, Got about, uh, about I got to do about twenty. I got about four left to do. <laughs> but they're pretty, they're good matches. <clears throat> they're over twenty four inches, <clears throat> which is all right. Be right back. Good. I got to take care of my dogs. All right, Dan. Long. Uh, Pretty nice, nice porch. Uh, my story stick was like 30, 30 inches long. <laughs> oh, yeah? <laughs> yeah, check it out. A little bit. My story right? stick was like a little yeah. bit longer. Than yours. Right? Yeah, for sure. Yeah, I know these things were originally done because, I mean, the house was from, like, the 1800s. But those dumbasses, man, look at all those stupid-ass beads and coves, man. They could have done it a little right. bit easier than that shit. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, like, oh, no, look, I, I need to put another bead in there. These these things right here were harder than those uh, five-and-a-half-foot ones I did for that church in Fredericksburg. What do you think about our meeting, old Billy? What do you mean? Pretty pretty good sized crowd. That was a good crowd, yeah. Yeah, that was a nice crowd. That's <clears throat> I've seen SWAT rooms didn't have that many people in it. I know of some SWAT rooms that won't have that many people in it this year. <laughs> <laughs> I do too. I digress. All right. That's my last one. <laughs> well, no, you haven't been here for a while, so it's all good. I won't do it again. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> Until the next chance he gets. Yeah, yeah. exactly. <laughs> Hell yeah, you got to take them when they present themselves, you know. Show it do. Who all's here? There was a knucklehead last night that uh tried to pick a fight with Billy when but, but Billy was saying exactly the truth. He said No, he, he didn't try to pick a fight. Yes, he did, man. He tried to tell Billy that a car a regular carbide blade, a regular carbide wasn't a scraper. That was one thing that he was saying. He did and, say that. Which is not true because it is a damn scraper. It is a um, scraper. <laughs> and then the I don't, I don't you, care. I don't care what what you want to call it or what color you make it's, it. It's a scraper. Uh, it, it's it's a damn flat scraper. That's exactly what it's it carbide is. Carbide instead of M two is the only difference. And then uh, the other fight that he was trying to pick, Billy just made the simple and true statement that he'd rather see a new turner start on traditional turning tools. And then use a carbide tool, then learn how to turn on a carbide tool, and then try to use a traditional tool. Because and he said, "Why? Because so they don't just I jam a damn traditional tool into a piece of wood 
<clears throat> trying to trying to you know trying to cut it like you would with the scrape. Yeah, he 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 said, "Why is that?" I said, "Because with carbide tools, you can fall into too many bad habits that will not translate well into a traditional tool. If you try to use it, you're gonna you have you run the risk of hurting yourself or somebody else." That's not true at all. I said, we're just going to have to agree to disagree. But I'll tell you one guy that was super impressed with you. Um, after talking to you after the meeting, David Dick. I was talking to him today and he was like, you know, I thought that guy would bite my head off whenever I went over there to give him a a, a tip or a pointer. And and he just, he listened and, and said he was going to give it a try. You know, he said, I am. Yeah. He said, most guys like that will bite your head off for trying to give them a tip. Oh, oh no. I'm I'm always learning. Yeah, I've been turning for 21 years, but mm -hmm. that don't mean I know everything there is to know. And I'm self-taught, which is not always a good thing. I've had to learn a lot by trial and error. And there are times that fingernail gouge at, at that corner of the bowl, it likes to jump and shout as i like to say see i switched and, to a scraper right there on that inside <clears> corner but that, I switched and, to a he, scraper. and what he told me about changing that angle up i'm gonna try it i'm definitely gonna try it <clears throat> no i'm i'm not i'm not so set in my ways that i don't i don't want to hear how to do something better Are you talking about transitioning from like the, the side of a bowl as you're going from down the through side, the inside yeah, to the from bottom? Yeah, from the side down in the corner, especially and in you're something dropping, like... And now you're dropping the handle to move the tool up in the bowl as you make the corner. Is that what he's saying? Yeah, he's yeah. saying... Okay. He's saying, he's saying when you, you, you come in this way and you're you're cutting the wall, and but then you, you drop the handle and come up here and then come back down towards the center. Exactly. Uh, I, it, especially in a bowl like this where you're cutting to the inside. If that's it's how most of the Brits teach it. I, uh, I just watched a video from a British guy that taught doing that, and it was exactly, really yeah, interesting. That's what I just said, yeah, most yeah. Brits teach it that way, and it's, it, it actually is, it works. But I like doing Richard Rappin's way where you just jam a damn scraper in there instead. <laughs> <laughs> At least I have the, I have the ability to do that. Uh, yeah, I do too. Richard Richard Raffin does that. I like he leaves all his mistakes on his videos. Have you seen Have you seen those uh, tools that Stuart Batty sells? I leave them in my videos too. Have you seen all those damn tools that Stuart Batty is having made and selling them? Just those giant, ginormous, heavy duty scrapers for like six hundred dollars for a little piece of the metal. No. That's what that's what he does with them. It's just a big old giant scraper. Yeah, I had a good time last night. I wasn't satisfied with myself, but you know, we're our own worst critics. I, only I one person not, only one person told me they were scared. I uh I I well yeah, I well I I got a little fast or I was <laughs> rushing a little bit and I did get Two catches that were worse than I wanted, but nothing flew off the lathe except shavings. So we're, we're all good. Nah, that was cool, man. Good. Deal. I'm glad you did the calabash bowl too. <laughs> so who told you they were scared? You remember Drew up front that I was heckling all the time? Oh, yeah, the guys. one I was throwing shavings at. He texted me and said, This guy scares me. <laughs> I, I texted him back just duck <laughs> if you hear well, the catch just duck and I meant to bring my big scraper but I forgot it but anyway it doesn't matter I it, we got her done yeah you got the whole damn thing done too except for that's why I was saying, don't don't take that tenant off yet, because you know, make it easier on yourself when you get home. Uh, yeah, I thank you, and I did, and and it's gone now. Yep. 
and it's round. It's no flat. It wobbles. There is a rule, though, man. You need my address? <laughs> I, I, I ain't done with it. So, But anyway, no. It's going to squat. <clears throat> oh, that'll so, be cool. Everybody getting to see the finished product at SWAT. That's yeah. pretty cool. Yeah. Yeah, it'll be a SWAT. So they can so they can look at it and go, damn, he does know something. <laughs> I don't know why, man, but I have never been interested in lugging a bunch of stuff in there and setting it up and then going back and picking it up later. <laughs> uh, yeah, it can be a pain, but but I enjoy it. I, mean, I do I enjoy going everybody. in that room. Huh? I, I love walking around in there and taking pictures of everything and looking at it. <clears throat> yeah. I get a little perturbed when you get all the way back into the back and you see stuff that looks like it never even went on a lathe. All right. You know, it never even, <laughs> like it never even saw a lathe, you know. Some of that stuff's a little bit too artistic. The auction items at the AAW symposium, about they two do. thirds of it looks like it's never seen a lot. I know, man. That's, I was looking at that too, man. Looks like it's never seen a what? A lathe. Never seen a lathe. I think some of those big pieces that you're talking about, Kelly, I've, I've seen the same ones there multiple years in a row too. People. Yeah, man. And do you remember that one that was way back in the back that was like super, super skinny and windy and like the size of a human and like all wrapped around in circles or whatever? It's like, yeah. I don't even know if this ever was on a way. You know, it doesn't make any sense. I've seen stuff in this group that didn't look like it was on a way. Well, there is some shit on that AAW auction, though. That's like what there, there's like one one piece is yeah. like. Little two by fours oh. look together or something, you know? What what the hell is that? Yep. Are you turning it down? Then they'll, then they'll do their them. articles on it. That's the reason we've got quite a few members of our club that have just quit and <laughs> started taking the one from over in England. Kelly, yeah. I think I, I think a lot of my stuff doesn't look like it's ever been on a lathe, but probably for a totally different reason. <laughs> yeah, because yeah, it's been on a laser, not a lathe. <laughs> uh, there you go. Yeah. I, I I use millimeters when I'm doing stuff for the laser and CNC instead of inches for the same reason you were talking, Dane. Just easier. Yeah. It's easier math. Well, it's, it's, more, it's more accurate. Yeah. You know, unless you're you're working from a from a rule scale and intense, you know how many people have a, a rule, you know, a, an imperial rule scale intense. Well, lo and behold, I got one right there on top of my lathe. But how many people have one? I got one. Show it. Okay. It's on my lathe. My digital calipers have inches and tenths. No, no, I ain't, I ain't talking about. I ain't talking about digital calipers. <laughs> you don't need shit to to figure something out with digital calipers. Yep. Right there, Dean. Mine's tricited. I, I, I figured you would have one. Actually, I've got yeah, two. I'm, yep. I've, yeah, I've got. I've got my architect scale as well. Right there. Well, this is this isn't an architect scale. This is an engineering yeah. scale. Right. <clears throat> Different. But I've got it intense as well. But yep. I was, I was originally going to be an architect, but when I signed up for college classes, I, I signed up for accounting. I got the A right. Uh, you were better off. You know, I was just some poor dumb hillbilly. I didn't know how to read and write until I got, got in the Air Force. You like that, Gary? Where were you originally from? Southeast Ohio. 
so many appellations. That, ex that explains it. There you go, Dane. <laughs> oh, you found one, huh? All right. We got two of them here. How about that? I got well. You you were you were gone looking for them, and I I pulled out my second one too. Yeah, and here's my third one. <laughs> yeah, there you go. I actually picked them up at garage sales, engineer. All right, let me so let me try to share a screen and show you what I. This is the one that I was talking about. Right here. <clears throat> Lynn emailed me back and said, send me an invoice. I'm like, what? That's 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 on an AAW auction. Are you shitting me? That's that's part of the AAW auction. For what? what? That's the one that I was talking about. Like See, we... that's what's wrong, you know. So so for me, that 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 just encompasses what how I feel about the AAW. Stupid shit like that. What in the hell is this? And how is this how is this a piece of art that's AAW? How is it right. anybody that's coming into wood turning, flipping through the AAW magazine or looking at the AAW auction? I mean, this doesn't this has nothing to do with wood turning right here. Is that no, small? It's so, is that is that supposed to is that a mimics actual two by fours or is that real size yeah no that's like that's probably super small it's called yeah, it's probably really small but adam manly I mean, has that regardless let's say what can i do with my scraps i can make a couple of make do saw horses and right, he <laughs> used some pretty maple for the two by fours but i, mean, I, just don't, I don't feel like that's, see, wood, that's not wood turning well see yeah. see what he See what he did was he started with a round off off cut and then he and then he made it square and rectangular. So he turned he turned it on the lathe. It was round, but then he turned it square on the lathe. I ain't believing it. That makes no sense, man. And then here's another one that I I'm, be, I'm being facetious, but yeah. That thing um, had a hundred dollars okay. on it. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Look at and this. And some dumbass will pay it. Oh, look at that. The hell is that? Is that wow. Was that made by what the same that? guy? Uh, no, it doesn't. And they have, to, they have to do a CD of how they made it. No, that's a CD that's re that's showing you the size. Show size. Of size else. reference. Size. That's why, why I'm asking is that it's the same guy that made that as the no, it, it's a different name, Joshua Ink. Wow. On this one. Oh Did I see 225 on that one? I don't know, but why is that in the AAW auction? You know what I mean? Right. Yeah, 220. Right. Somebody's got a current bid of $200 on that. Oh, it's, it's, rep it's representative of, of what they put out in their fucking magazine, too. A six year old could have done that one. Yeah. Wow, I qualify. <laughs> oh, look at that. Hey, that might have seen a lathe. It's round on the ends. It might have seen a lathe, but man. It looks like the pad off of a gun stock. This yeah. is, but when I look at stuff like this, though, man, I feel like this is not, this is not turning. representative of wood turning. This is, yeah, I, I mean, agree. This, now, it's embellishment. <clears throat> you know, that's a whole new class and a whole new category. In a whole new group and a whole different symposium, as far as I'm concerned. Right. right. And, and that's not even good embellishment. Look at how uneven it is. Yeah. They, right. need, to, they need to take all of that artsy shit and, and put it in a whole new magazine and go back to the right. basic the wood journey. Well, they'd have a lot more members if they did. Yeah. That now, one must be turned. sandblasted. Yeah, that it's one. turned and sandblasted. That's actually kind of cool. I, uh, I'm sitting here looking at it, and I think <clears> that's cool, and that's pretty damn close to wood turning. You know what I mean? That's that's wood turning. Well, it was, because it was turned. Yeah. It was obviously yeah. turned, and then he sandblasted it. Yeah. Yeah. They turned the bowl, and then they sandblasted oh, yeah. it. Yeah, let's look at that. That's not wood turning. <laughs> <laughs> that looks like something that's Ruby would do. That's carving. 
<laughs> yeah, I I'm mean, not saying that was like, that was probably segmented. It's probably it's wood. It's woodworking, but it's not wood turning. But it's not that's what I'm turning. saying. Like, I'm not saying that right here, like this. I'm not saying this isn't cool because that is kind of cool. <clears> it but, is kind of cool. It, but it's that not kind of. Except that for, for the fact it's that not it's not turning. Turning, it reminds me of not a lot of the birds that Ron Campbell does. Yeah, it's not it's not wood turning though. Looks like Peyronie's disease. Look at yeah, this shit right, right here. That wasn't turned either. That's just that the shit have been. glued together. Nah, actually, that was, actually, it, was, it looks that was like burned, burned, it was burned, all burned. those watts in it, steamed it, and twisted it. It's it's one cylinder, and he took took a parting tool, and he made all the little indentations there, and then he then he then he cut it and twisted everything to yeah. put it all back together. Um, Joaquin's got you know not like that, but he's got a got a vessel that's all twisted. And yeah, I know like you're that. talking about Dane. I've seen that. that. Yeah. But that's but what that is. is. That's His is representative that's, that's of garbage. garbage. Right, but that's my opinion. That's garbage. Yeah, it, Joaquin's is representative of wood turning. Right, right. Oh, here we go. A couple spikes put together. Well, at least oh, it's going to turn ball in it. Turned a ball yeah. in it. Yeah. It's got a sphere in it, man, but then the rest of it's just like it's not wood turning, you know. It's art, but it's not wood turning. It is kind of cool, but it's not wood That's, turning. It ain't cool to me. But whatever. I I think it's kind of cool, but it's it's certainly a lot more cool than those damn sawhorses. It's not representative of wood turning, though. Not 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 right. extremely representative, you know. Premier wood auction. Premier. Rebecca's is badass. Yeah, it is. It's only got a bit of 275. Wow. Yeah. And I'll be honest, her stuff doesn't do anything for me either. It's creepy. <laughs> I mean. <clears throat> it's more carving than wood turning. This right here is just bullshit. And a whole shitload of sanding. That's just nonsense. I don't understand why that's on the AAW website. Wow. How do you even get, like, asked to create something for the AAW website? And, I mean, the AAW auction, and this is what you come up with. Why do they allow it in? Why do they allow stuff like that in? Somebody, man, somebody knows somebody. That's all I got to say. This right here is on the AAW auction for the same reason why Biden is the president of the United States right now. Right? Yeah, yes, amen. you got it right. Amen. That, that's yep. probably as close to answer as you can get. Right? Damn good correlation. You mean they cheated? <laughs> <laughs> right? They were cocaine yeah. addicts. <laughs> and, and they sell their paintings for lots of their artwork for lots and lots Funny, of money. And it, the other night, hell. the other night, Tina was watching that Ashley Madison documentary on Netflix. <laughs> And you know, so so when I came in late, you know, so I caught the last two episodes of it, and so the first, you know, the, the, the second to the last, they were listing you know some of the names, and guess who was on the list? Hunter Biden, but he denies vehemently that he he didn't create the account. <laughs> of course he did. Uh, hey, I will say this about that stack of maple two uh, by fours on the AAW auction. It's a whole lot smarter and way more fucking useful than Biden is. True. Yeah. Yeah, it's representative of what something could be useful. Yeah. Mm. 
Yeah, boy. Stumbling, bumbling, fumbling, falling upstairs. <laughs> no, man, you want to see something hilarious. See, see, see some clips of him pandering to those black guys at that college a couple of days ago. Oh, I did. I yeah, I, I saw it. There at Moorhead University. And he, they, and they, they all you know, they it was funny. Their damn you know, it was funny. There, there was no applause. There was no, oh, yeah. It was silence. They turned their damn chairs around and faced the other direction. Oh, did they? Yeah, look it up, man. The, uh, if, 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 if you, in any area that you were looking at, like, say, maybe about 100 of them, 98 of them had their chairs turned around and were facing the other direction, and two of them were looking That's up at awesome. the same. That's awesome. Yeah. Fuckers are getting tired of getting pandered to. Right? Yeah. Yeah. Talk about being lied to. You're the motherfuckers that do the lying. Don't do anything. <laughs> After 60 years, they're finally, they're finally catching on. Wait a minute. We're just getting a bunch of lip service here. Don't work that way anyhow in the real world. You want to be a well, gangbanger? Instead of congratulating banger. all them dudes for graduating college, he's standing up there talking about how, you know, how they'll it's never harder for to you anything. to get jobs and it's harder for you yeah. to get this and it's harder for you to get that. Yeah. You know, because the man is holding you down and they're probably thinking, well, uh, dude, you're you're the man. What the fuck right. are you talking about? <laughs> right. Hell yeah. You brought up and got legislation passed to hold us down. What the fuck are you talking my about? Grand, my granddaughter just graduated from Texas Tech and she's not going to have any problem getting a job. Right. None of them. None of those kids were, man. That's why they turned their damn backs to them. Right. Yeah. Now, if you got a, if you got a, got a degree in liberal arts or music or, History or political science, yeah, now you're going to have problems. I want to be a teacher. She has you don't need a degree to be a in teacher. Art, but she's sure. also got a teaching degree. Right. But you don't you don't even need a you don't need a degree to be a teacher. All you gotta do is pass the state certification to be a teacher. Well, not in Texas. You gotta have a degree. Yeah, in Texas, you gotta have a degree. Michigan, you got to okay. have one. All right, there's two states. Uh, Ohio. No, nah, I don't think that's the case in Ohio. Yep. My wife taught there. Oh, okay. I know I got a friend that's a teacher there, and she ain't got no teaching degree. Really? Yep. Teaching high school. <laughs> 